I'm tired of America. Mm. So I'm hitting Richie on the net. I got the tickets. That's a bet. We need the link. My brother set it up. Set it up. Damn, I didn't had enough. Ooh, I won't lie. lie. Can I get a little shake with them fries? fries. My skin tone is matching your eyes. eyes. Black men, you know we like them thighs. thighs. And baby, she can do it all. Oh. Your land is my land. Cut through it all. Oh. Got her singing, baby, baby, like Biggie Smalls. I'm like, my, 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 when she do that walk. I zoom the Thailand. Everyone always asks how I met Elle. And I tell them it's in a future episode. Well, this is the episode. Let me tell you how it all started. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon. Warmer G was on the streets trying to consume. It was a clear black night in Pattaya. I was minding my own business, just looking to get a little foot massage, walking the streets in Pattaya, learning my way around, looking for where I could buy me a condo. And then this happened. First thing I noticed was how beautiful she was. She looked totally different than any of the other girls I've seen here. Then I noticed them big old legs up under them genie pants she was wearing. I was like, ooh wee! She was trying to hide it, but I could clearly see this was not your average everyday Thai woman. There was something different about her. I immediately whipped out my camera so in case I never saw her again, I would always have this memory. Tell me you couldn't get used to this. How you say beautiful? Huh? How you say beautiful? Well, yeah, yeah. Su I look like yeah. Talk that talk, baby. Beautiful. She's in America, I hear you can catch a case for telling the wrong woman she's beautiful. Yeah, she gives good foot too. Baby, let's do something. At that time, I couldn't speak any time. Zoom tribe, I'm telling you, whatever country you travel to, make sure to learn the basic words like hello, how are you, please, and thank you. If you start with those, they will at least know you're trying and that'll get you immediately brownie punk. And if you're too lazy to do that, at least get yourself a pocket translator or a translating app on your phone. This will take you far. I know brothers that live out here, and I'm not gonna say their names, but they expect everywhere they go for people to speak English and understand what they're saying. That's not how it works, y'all. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> Back to L. Of course, after the massage was done, I had to get her information. Big old pretty legs, too. But as a heads up, in Thailand, the best way to get in touch with a woman is through line. See, she was cutting my food for me before the grits. <laughs> line is kind of like Facebook and WhatsApp combined. Sometimes you can see pictures of them and what their normal life is like, but don't get it messed up. Some have lines strictly for business purposes with no other information other than their cover picture and their phone number. When I see this, I assume they're a pro and I already know what it is. So anyway, I got Elle's WhatsApp number and headed back to Cali. This is in November of 2019. I was serious about buying a property in Southeast Asia. I just didn't know where. That's why I visited so many places in the Philippines because there were so many options, so many beautiful places. I actually got greedy because now I was trying to get a spot in each country. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't buy something cute like this. Got a kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and that view. You already know. That's what I'm here for, baby. At night, it's gorgeous. It's only a three or four hour flight from the Philippines to Thailand, so why not? So then I got back home to California. It literally took me all of three weeks before I was fiending to go back to Thailand. The $10 one hour oil massages alone had me spoiled. Elle and I remained in contact, but I didn't think we took each other seriously at that time. She was on the other side of the planet. And I definitely wasn't looking into no long distance relationship thing. Besides, I was on a conquest to expand my Airbnb empire. The plan was for me to regroup, get my paper right, educate myself on each country, watch as many YouTube videos as I could find, hit up as many cities as I could, crunch numbers and get it popping. My goal was to travel abroad six to nine months out of the year and live at home in the States three to six months out of the year. I even wrote a comedy to film in Thailand. It's basically like a black version of The Hangover. It's funny as shit. Imagine five middle-aged men who put their lives in the hands of a 22-year-old clout-chasing YouTuber exploiting them for click views until shit gets real. 
I talked to Chris Spencer about it. I talked to Bentley Evans about it. I was setting shit up. I was putting my plan into motion and making my third trip to Southeast Asia in less than a year. I went in July, I went in November, and now I'm coming back again in March. I was even playing around with different names for my new YouTube channel. All right, y'all, divorce man in Thailand, heading to the airport. Got my driver with me, Mr. French Fry. Yo. We about to do what it do. I'm about to get on this plane, and we gonna see what Thailand is really about. I was gonna hit every Airbnb in the Philippines I thought would be good Airbnb opportunities. Then I would hit Thailand for a few weeks, spend some time with L, hit up Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Phuket, Isan, and PP Island. Then from there, move on to Cambodia and Vietnam and make it back in time for my daughter's high school graduation. Then the world got turned upside down. Things got so crazy in the US, I decided to just stay for a couple extra months in Thailand, waiting for this panic to blow over. My daughter's graduation was canceled and the world had changed just like that. I never made it to Cambodia and Vietnam for obvious reasons, but Elle and I have been together ever since. I wish I had a story to match everybody else's story of how we ended up together, but this is exactly how it happened. The last thing I was looking for was a relationship, cause like Charlemagne the guy said, once you hit 40, you on the other side of the clock. I don't know how many years, months, or minutes I have left on this earth. Me and Elle take things day by day. You have to set the tone in the beginning. Now, of course, everything's not always perfect. Sometimes women will try you, but for the most part, this is probably the least amount of stress I've ever had in a relationship. We take care of each other. I'm the provider and the protector, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I seem to have struck a nerve back home about me and my situation here in Thailand. And a lot of men, I'd say about 98%, I rock it with me. I'm showing that men don't have to settle. I sure didn't. And if I can do it and show you in real time how I'm doing it, that means you can do it too. All it takes is a passport and a plan. Z tribe. Good news. The ZTT Patreon will be up and running shortly. So make sure to join me over there so we can uh, express ourselves a little better. <laughs> you dig? I'm moving the non-monetized episodes off the Zoom to Thailand channel and sliding them over to the Patreon along with the spicy Zoom after dark clips. We're going to have several different tiers to choose from. From the $5 support holla all the way up to having an opportunity to sponsor or partner with me on future episodes of Zoom to Thailand. All my military subscribers will receive a 10% discount on any of the $99 and up tiers. And for all you up-and-coming editors out there, <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, I'm going to be giving away some of my best editing tips and tricks so that hopefully you can have higher production value in all of your projects. Full disclaimer, even though I edit all my own videos, I am not a professional editor. I'm a self-taught editor with a DJ background. That's how I like to cut, just like I'm a DJ. I don't know all the technical stuff. I just know how to get my point across when it's time to shine. So if you're cool with that, we're going to have a tear for that. All right, back to the story. If you're 40 and up, you want to start stacking now because this is a great place to retire, in my opinion. Retirement age is 50 out here. And I have to say, Thailand's not for everybody. You have to have your head in the right place to live here. You're not going to have all the amenities that you have in America, but you're also not going to have all the stress that you have in America. So it's kind of like a trade-off. You have to give up some things to acquire other things, and that's really up to you. As for me, I feel blessed to be here. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. So that being said, I'm going to get back to my grits, pad thai, $5 haircuts, and $7 foot massages. As soon as we hit 100,000 subscriber mark, we're going to give Elle her own channel. Or maybe we'll do one of them corny little couple travel channels. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. What do you think? Write in and let us know. And if you get a chance, tap the like button and the notification button if you like what we're doing out here in Thailand. If not, that's cool too. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll be doing my first live in less than two weeks. And I have a very special guest joining me. It's going to be a good one. Can you guess who it is? Who do you want it to be? Who do you think it should be? What do you guys want to see more of? I need my friends and subscribers to tap in. 
But until then, theme music. Zoom to Thailand. Hope you coming too. Uh-huh. Richie Mac, travel OG with celebrity interviews. Get your passport, let's go. let's go. This is what you need for show. Brothers in Thailand and bikini babes at the beach. If you need more, he got it popping. Caddy of the day, we golfing. Really ain't a better option. Time to travel. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's connect. Uh, Richie Mac, yeah, we steady vibing. Take the journey, let's get moving. Cause we zooming right to Thailand. Hey, Richie Mac, travel OG. Let's go. And y'all been asking me about who did the end theme for Zoom to Thailand. His name is Kibo, and I finally caught up with him. So I want y'all to go check him out, follow him. Kibo, here's a little shot of what he do. I'm the dopest that you know. I got talent coming out the culo. I got skills coming out the wazoo. I'm the type of rapper they follow. I can speak Spanish and Tagalog. I know Pangalog more. I go by Kibo. I'm sick to stand no vaccine type of flow. No, I'm not trying to get political, but I'm going to get a little bit lyrical. So here we go. Can't nobody do it like I do it. I had to pursue it. Everything I be making is foolish, killing the music. Wanna toot my own horn? Ain't no competition, so you better go now. Uh, you don't wanna battle me, I got an animal inside of me. I promise that you got the wrong one. Hey, you better sit down right now. You better dip out right now. Zoom tribe. I feel like my comment section is part of the family. So I'm listening and trying to read every single comment, y'all. I try to respond as most I can. If I don't get back with y'all, understand I'm just busy trying to get this thing done for you guys. But thank you so much for your support. All my brothers in the military, man. The military stand up. I'm looking at people like Errol Palmer, Hannibal Yamro, Hammer Time, Kevin Gordon, GM, Prescott Oseji, 9-11 Baby Goat, Victor Mann, Sean D'Souza, Andre Brooks, John Grigg, Maurice Armstrong, Shaquem 007, Rand's Travels, Zan the Man. Come on, y'all. Sean Camp and Dan Sparks, some of my first supporters. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what you're thinking, how you feeling, any suggestions. I'm going to try to hit those, too. Stay rocking with your boy. Catch y'all on the next one. See ya. Can you say hi to America? Can you say hi to America with the big pretty lips? Yeah, she's beautiful. What's your name? Al. Al? That's not your name. Huh? Al, your name? Yeah. Really? Okay. So I think I am. Al. So Al. <laughs> Al got some big old pretty legs too. He's beautiful. Zoom tribe.